How literate are you? If you are reading this, then you are probably quite literate. But how ocean literate are you? Being ocean literate means understanding how the ocean influences us and how we influence the ocean. From the air we breathe, to the water we drink and the food we eat, the ocean is our life support system. If our ocean stops working, our planet stops working. In financial terms, the global blue economy is currently valued at 1.3 trillion euros and this figure is expected to double by 2030. To ensure that our ocean remains healthy, we all must fully understand the importance of the ocean in our lives so that we can make responsible decisions about managing our shared ocean resources. Having realised that this understanding was lacking in American formal education in the 1990s, scientists and educators in the USA developed the Ocean Literacy Principles to put a coherent framework around ocean learning and bring it into mainstream education. In Europe, marine educators have also been very active in gaining a better understanding of public perceptions of the role the ocean has in our everyday lives. Funded under the seventh framework programme, Science and Society Strand, the Sea for Society project ran from 2012 to 2015 and carried out a series of cross-sectoral and citizen dialogues in Europe. The outputs generated from 39 stakeholder consultations confirmed that citizens' attitudes and awareness in relation to the ocean was the key barrier to achieving a blue society. Building on the learnings of Sea for Society, the Sea Change Partnership was formed. Sea Change was one of two successful projects funded under Horizon 2020 to address the challenge of advancing ocean literacy in Europe. Over the past three years, Sea Change has used these insights to inform targeted activities aiming to progress and embed ocean literacy principles in three key focus areas – education, marine governance and public engagement. Here's some highlights of what we have achieved in these three areas. To better understand the uptake of ocean literacy in formal education systems, Sea Change carried out a review and stakeholder consultations that focused on 12 to 19 year olds. This work identified potential actions and solutions across different member states. To make learning more accessible, we brought together existing resources and developed new material to create the first massive open online course to enable teachers and students to include ocean literacy in their educational programs. We also held a series of online seminars for educators in three key focus areas – ocean and human health, aquaculture and seabed mapping. We piloted new mediums by developing ocean literacy iBooks and tried out collaborative techniques such as Coder Dojo to help us develop new games communicating ocean literacy to citizens. The European Marine Science Educators Association, MC, are key partners in Sea Change. A legal, non-profit entity, the MC Network and their annual conferences have been vital in promoting the activities of the project and is seen as a high potential legacy vehicle for its outputs. To get a better understanding of how well European policymakers view the ocean, the Sea Change Partnership interviewed marine governance actors about their perceptions on the links between human and ocean health. Using this information, country-specific reports were created, detailing the actions needed to improve decision-making and subsequent policy development regarding marine litter issues. We also investigated the ways that marine science could be better integrated into European policy, developing a marine science roadmap as a guide for the future of marine governance in Europe. Science communicators are constantly challenged in finding effective ways to convey wicked problems, such as ocean health, to the public. As a first step to achieving sustained behavioural change, Sea Change developed the Social Innovation Participation Process Guidelines and Co-Creation Principles. 
These principles were used to train the Sea Change Partnership as a network of Sea Change agents and formed the basis for a variety of outreach events across Europe that tested various formats for effective public engagement. Using the SIPS process, Sea Change engaged with citizens and stakeholders to co create ideas and solutions to achieve ocean literacy in Europe. We also held a widespread public awareness campaign, Our Ocean, Our Health, developed by Sea Change to raise awareness of the critical links between human and ocean health. We produced a variety of free resources to show people how they can support healthy oceans in their daily lives, and a series of competitions were run to stimulate public engagement and awareness. A citizen science app was developed to help citizens better understand their local marine environment, and a European platform to improve coastal safety, showing the hazards and benefits of the sea, was created. The impact of the activities and experiences from the past three years has been carefully measured using a tailored collective impact assessment framework that will inform the next steps. We intended to bring about a sea change in how European citizens view the ocean and how they act in their daily lives to protect this vital resource. We have brought together a diverse group of people and sectors, all seeking ways to achieve a sustained behavioural change. To date, we have achieved a lot, but we need to continue this momentum, ensuring all stakeholders sing from the same hymn sheet. This work needs to be sustained and improved upon to match the complexity and urgency of the problems to be solved and to catalyse global change at a systems level that will protect our oceans and the people who depend on them. This change began as a ripple and we want this sea change ripple to grow, expand and lead to a change in how all Europeans relate to our oceans. Join with us and pledge to make a small change for a sea change.